Hello there, I'm Mr. Rainsley. I'm Head of History at Purvick School. The aim of this short presentation is just to give you a few ideas of how you can be revising and preparing for your exams in GCC History. One thing teachers are really, really good at is telling students to go and revise. What we're maybe not always so good at is telling people how to do that and how to do that effectively. So we'll hopefully give you a few ideas here. Okay, Year 11, so the core of your revision is your Knowledge Organiser booklet. You all know it, you've all got one by now. If you don't have one for whatever reason, you can always get hold of it on Teams. For each one of your free exams, there are four pages, four Knowledge Organiser pages with the key information you need to learn and revise. And there's also a slightly um, easier, more accessible version of the Knowledge Organiser booklet. It's called the Modified Booklet. And that's also available on Teams. It has the same information, just pared down a bit. And you'll be being tested on that in your lessons by myself or Mr. Deramo every week, possibly even every lesson. And you know that's going on. That's the main thing to be covering that. And that covers your key knowledge. So for whatever reason you don't know where it is right now, or you've mislaid it, okay, you can always get a new copy off myself and my office or off Teams. And when you use your Knowledge Organiser booklet, get a pen, to, like a highlighter, and cross bits off, highlight bits, cross them off, so you know you're making progress. And when you come back to it, you know you've actually achieved something, and you move a step further, a step further. It does look like a lot of information to start with, but when you start highlighting things as you read them, as you revise them, as you test on them, bit by bit you find you're making progress, and it does, does suddenly become manageable. Obviously, there are other things you can do to revise. OK, you've got all the exam questions you've answered and some model answers in your purple book. You've all done quite a bit of work there now, so it's well worth reading over it and having a look. And I think you'd be impressed and proud by what you've done when you actually look at it. On Teams, we're putting some exam papers and also some model answers, answers written from previous exams to give you ideas. There's a great revision book called My Revision Notes if you want to read a bit more depth on the topics. That's also got some practice answers and model answers in there. OK, so always more resources. And if you run out of things and ideas, ask. OK, ask myself or ask Mr. Deramo and we'll help you with that. And I'm always happy to mark uh, revision questions that students have done. OK. OK, Year 11, I hope that's helpful. But if you ever run out of things to do or run out of ideas, speak to myself or speak to Mr. Deramo, speak to your history teacher. We'll always be happy to point you in the right direction. OK, but it's all there if you get organised for you. Resources, knowledge organiser booklets, and of course you get your lessons. So you've got this Year 11, nothing can go wrong. You are going to nail your history GCSE exams. Well done, folks.